It was a colossal sight as the oil rig structure dwarfed everything in sight. There was four or 5,000 people lined up on the ship channel watching it leave. That absolutely amazed me. It made me feel good. You watch it pass by and you see how impressive it is and you take a little pride in that we were the people that made it happen. Three and a half days later, Bullwinkle finally arrives at its destination in the Gulf of Mexico. It is now the moment of truth. Launching Bullwinkle into the water. Technicians let water into the nose of the barge, tipping it down two and a half degrees. Bullwinkle's dramatic slide begins. It's like launching a ship, except you're doing it from a barge offshore in open waters. After all the planning and years of construction, astonishingly, the entire slide takes less than 90 seconds. It's a triumphant moment for everyone. Bullwinkle is now afloat directly over the spot where it would be pinned to the ocean floor. But now another complicated installation begins. Four brave project engineers have the difficult task of navigating a small boat through choppy gulf waters as they approach the enormous, intimidating structure. They carefully board Bullwinkle and climb it. Once on top, over 100 feet up, they cautiously make their way to the hydraulic control panel. From there, they open the flood valves that fill the lower chambers of the legs with water, lowering Bullwinkle 1,350 feet to its final position on the ocean floor. Only 15 feet of this gigantic structure is now visible above the surface. The sad part about it is once you build one of these and it's installed in the Gulf, you can't see what you did. It could be as 20 feet of water or 1,500 feet of water. Nobody would know the difference. Construction crews immediately begin the incredible task of driving 28 gigantic anchoring piles through sleeves on the structure's legs and into the ocean floor. This has to be done by remote control using underwater cameras since the actual operation is happening a quarter of a mile below the surface. They drive some piles as deep as 437 feet. Bullwinkle is now on its way to becoming an imposing presence in the Gulf of Mexico. All that remains is the attachment of the huge deck sections. Built in Louisiana, they are towed out by barge, then lowered into place. Construction was finally complete. It had taken almost five and a half years at a cost that exceeded $500 million. Never before had something this huge been transported in one gigantic piece then installed hold. It was an amazing project, unparalleled in its scope. It may stand forever as the world's tallest fixed offshore platform and a crowning achievement in deep water engineering and technology.